Welcome to Norman, Oklahoma. Tonight, at the Gaylord Family Oklahoma Memorial Stadium, the Sooners are set to open another season on Owen Field. What a scene this is. A veritable cavalcade of colors. Stripe after stripe that they hope leaves the visitors dizzy. As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the Temple Owl, taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. such a high level everyone believes in this young man and palmer there's a reason nothing but green ahead he's at the 40 running to green just making a huge play and he sets him up all the way down at the 14. i know it's early in the game but defensively after that play you know you have to tackle the catch when this guy gets the ball in his hands he is so dangerous after the fact so it's okay for him to make catches you just got to get him to the ground quickly Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. Temple lines up quickly. Smith takes the handoff. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. And as a holder picks his spot, it'll be a 25-yard attempt. It is good! And the first points of the day come on that field goal. And that's exactly what you want as a coach. You want to drive the ball down the field and get some form of points to create some momentum for your squad to start the season. How about the kicker? One for one in the year. He's perfect. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Sooners' offense will go to work for the first time today. Here comes the offense on first down. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. They're trying to get to it. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Ocha. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Short completion last play. Let's see if they throw it again. Now the play fake. Going downfield for the big play. Makes the catch on the right side. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. Well, he's able to make it easy after that catch, and I think his speed is something that just scares DBs to death. And you think about great Oklahoma receivers recently, guys like C.D. Lamb, Sterling Shepard, Hollywood Brown. DBs gave them so much cushion because they were afraid they were going to get run by. And I think that's how defenses treat this guy, too. With his speed and his playmaking ability, he scares you to death, and that cushion helps him out tremendously. Pressure coming. And they got him for the sack. And all defenses talk about it. Sacks, tackles for a loss, affecting the quarterback the best way you can. The first drive of the game already getting home. Nice start for this defense. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. On the run, it's Arnold. Fires into traffic, intercepted. 
And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And it just turns out to be a missed opportunity. You get the ball in the red zone and you turn it over. Momentum. It plays a big role for teams and especially for offenses. And when you have chances like that, when you're down in this area of the field, you've got to be able to come away with points. Even if it's not going to be a touchdown, you are not leaving this area of the field without putting at least three up on the board. Missed opportunity for the owner. Temple takes over and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field. Stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and get six points. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. He makes a catch. Can anyone catch him? At the 20. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Owls. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Now we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage, defenses are going to have to get something to get out. Going to go out on a limb and say they have a lot of him plays. Throw the ball to him. Already over 100 yards receiving. Keep it simple, stupid. Just find this guy and get him the football. Now, if you're on defense, it's pretty obvious where this team is going with the ball. You're going to have to come up with a plan to stop this. Ball. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. The Sooner offense returns to the field. And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Yeah, and you got to put that frustration behind you. You can't turn it over. That's that's a cardinal sin. You know better than that, Jesse. You can't take points off the board. But you got to move on. I, you do. I, I think he just got way too overeager down in, in the red zone that last drive. So just come out here, trust your reads, trust what your coaches have told you to do, and just go out next week. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And you'd like to think this sophomore wouldn't make a habit of trying to force passes into double coverage like that. Oh, man. The quarterback almost just threw his second interception on his many drives. He's trying to reach the tackle, and he's got room. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Yeah, and, and listen, offensively, you run the RPOs. You just want positive yards. Make the right read. Read the guy. If he wants to drop back a little bit, hand it off. Get some positive yards and go on to the next one. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. To the air, it's Arnold. He makes a grab. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. Snapped it in the shotgun. And it's caught. Touchdown, Oklahoma. The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense. Spreading them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. NC State delivered the knockout blow early in this one. En route to the type of win that can turn some heads there in the ACC. Trust me when I say 
the party is on in Raleigh. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Caught near the sticks. It's right. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with the first down. That last catch puts him over 150 yards receiving on the day. Reese, this defense has no answer for this guy. It doesn't matter where he's lined up or what routes he's run or who's been covering him. They just can't stop him. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. Tempo lines up quickly. Here's the handoff. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They'll try to run for it. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Temple lining up to punt it away. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. A play-action fake seems simple, but there are some intricacies for the quarterback. Reese, you're right. The danger for a quarterback in play-action is that you're turning your back to the defense when you're trying to execute the play fake to the running back. So you have no idea what's happening behind you, and you have no presence for where that rush is coming from. All of a sudden, you whip your head back around, and oftentimes, it's too late. You saw that right there. He'll pull it on the read. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Got it set up on the outside. And the ball slipped out. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And he did everything right except hold on to the football. That was incredible running, making people miss. It looked like it was going to be a nice play, but he coughed it up and the defense jumps on it. That is so dejecting for that running back. He leaves it with his back. He had to fight for a couple down to the 33 after picking up a couple at second and eight. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Trying to pound their way forward, he picks up a couple to the 31. Things look great with that field position a few plays ago, but now it's third and six. Looking to throw at Simon. Feeling some heat. Firing to the right, complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup man of first down for this offense. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. We've seen a ton of this tonight. They just keep giving him the ball, and he keeps running into brick walls. Not much running room again. On second down, just keeps firing. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. Pocket starts to collapse. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. And this one splits the uprights.
So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Let's see what he can do with the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. Unloads quickly. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Pulled down for the tackle. He's picked up 49 yards on the ground, and they wanted to have an identity as a running team, and he's giving them that in the season opener. Makes the grab. It's Burks. Good call. Good execution as they move the chains, and they have a first down at the 38. Guys, it's Temple with the lead here at the end of the quarter. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. 13, Oklahoma, Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. The Sooners have it with a first and ten. He'll keep it himself. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Hand off from the gun. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Now on third down after that run. On the option. Now the toss. Oh, he left him grabbing. Just slithered through the tackle and he's got room to run. Touchdown Sooner! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And to have a rushing touchdown of that type of yardage, you've got to be able to make something miss. It's one thing to get into the second level, but can you make that last defender miss? And you saw it on that play. Once he was in the clear, with his speed, he was gone. Lining up to add another. And the extra point gives them the lead of 14-13. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And he finished things off racing 53 yards for six. Here he comes from inside his own five. And he pumps it up inside the 20. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big... And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, oh! This is a running back that can hurt you, not just getting handoffs, but they use him in the passing game as well. They called the screen at the absolute perfect time, and it ends up being a touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And they kick it through for the extra point, and they have an eight-point lead. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. 
Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack. Get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Safe completion on the screen. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Temple lines up quickly. Really good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, those open field tackles and get them on the ground as soon as they catch it. That's a major deal for defenses, and that was a good example there. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making First it easier for his quarterback. Roughing the kicker. kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll go to the ground. Got the first down and still on his feet. Stopped at the 44 after a five-yard gain. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. They'll try the run. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. And you're going to hear this guy's name a lot. They're going to ride the big fella. He's such a stud. They're going to build the offense around him. This is just game one, but you're going to get a lot of big runs from this game. And now on second down for this offense. Wants to throw. It's Simon. Fires to the big fella. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. I think that time offensively, we're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You've got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit and let's keep going. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Tackle is made after the first down. And the Owls come to the line with a new set of downs. That's the mindset of this entire offense. They're not going to let you off the hook just because it's fourth and one. And that running back, he wanted the ball, too. You can see there right after the third down play, looking at his sideline, saying, give me the ball. I want to go get this. I'm going to make a play for my team. He comes through big time. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Knocked down after a three-yard gain to the 25. Decimals rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to the big tight end. And the missed connection on third down. And they'll run the field goal unit back out there. This kicker has already banged a couple through. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. And he'll just take a knee and this drive will start at the 25. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Back to pass. It's Arnold. Finds his big tight end. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. 
On third down, offenses have third plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. They're bringing heat. Road fires and picked off. Couldn't find a ton of room on that return to that small change. They take over at the 43. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Temple takes over and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse. Losing yardage on that play. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I just lost yards on a screen play. How does that happen? Temple lining up to punt it away. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver, beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. He's going for it all. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. And what a big play here in the return. Takes it back inside the 25. That's number two. That's a good year for a lot of people. What a day. Having two interceptions already. I might try my hand on the other guy. This guy is not somebody I want to mess with. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game, day. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. Going up top on first down. That's reeled in. It's right. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Dialing up a second down pass play. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Going for six. And that one is picked up in the end zone. Never a good time for a turnover, but it always seems a little worse when you're about to knock on the door of the end zone. No doubt about it. And it's this area of the field, Reese, where your execution really has to be great. Because down in the red zone, the windows to throw into it for a quarterback, they're smaller and they close a lot quicker. So you really have to be on the same page as your wide receiver. And that time, the offense and the QB simply move Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into it. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense in the game. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. This defense is heating up. They got an interception in the last possession. You could tell breaking on the football really, really well. Seeing where the quarterback's throwing it, going to try to get it. Got another hand on it. Almost had another interception. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Slips through the line. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. So the first play of the drive, starting here from the 45. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Temple lines up quickly. Back to throw, it's Simon. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. In the dead center of the field as they try to convert this third and short. 
From the gun, wants to pass. Holds it in. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open ball. He now has 63 yards rushing already here in the first half. It's a season opener, but he's in midseason form. He wants to throw. Gets it out quickly. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll run it from the gun. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. The Owls will snap it on first and ten. He'll try the left side. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. It's complete to the left. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Finds his target down the middle. So close to that end zone. He can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being... And he'll take it in. Who gives a hoot? The Owls do. It's a touchdown. I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone, know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they have a two-point lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. The Royals went on the road and just beat one of the most storied programs in all of college football. This narrow victory will be pointed to as one of the great David and Goliath moments for years to come. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standards, fellas. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Just a short pass to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. Looking for a man. It's Arnold. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Getting some heat. Got his man quickly. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They're working that left side. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. They've got it inside the 30 at the 28. First down. He wants to throw it again. Finds his man. It's Burks. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Looking to throw on second down. Quickly to the tight end. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And the Sooners have moved it inside the 20. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. After the misconnection, it's second down. 
He's looking to throw. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Serner. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Trying to get to it. Not able to hook up there, incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. Dropping back, it's Simon. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Strong running there. Going to pick up seven yards on the play, but they still have a fourth and three. The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. A little over 20 seconds to play in the half as they take it on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Caught close to the marker. It's Anthony. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Unloads to the wideout. That one will be incomplete, and we are down to 10 seconds to go. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Couldn't find anyone open here, and he'll live to fight another play. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. He's taking the shot. Pass falls incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. The Sooners will punt this one away. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result, now, fourth down. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from Norman so far. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmys and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. Temple will try to boot this one deep to get the second half underway. On the run from inside his own clock. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. They open this third quarter on top, and they built the lead on the strength of that running game. And they made a huge statement, too, just proving to the other team that they're more physical, they're winning in the trenches. So here in the second half, David, just keep demoralizing this defense by pounding the football. Yeah, and, and I'm not going to let that happen. I, I riled up my guys at halftime. We're going to put more people in the box, and they've got to come out and meet the physical challenge of this offense. The Sooners are in the hurry-up. 
Really nice job threading the needle in that pass. They've had a lot of dudes that were able to do that in Norman, Oklahoma. Josh Heupel, Jason White, Sam Bradford, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts. The names go on and on and on. Hurting you in the passing game with their vision, with their accuracy. This guy, I tell you, he fits right in in this Oklahoma offense. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. And the Sooners are on the move. They're getting this guy lathered up. Showing off that power as he plows ahead to the 38. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Off the play fake. Throws for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And another passing touchdown for this Sooner quarterback. He keeps this up, and he might wind up in that 100 touchdown club with Baker Mayfield and Landry Jones. So many good guys that have had good days. But how about this day? I mean, fitting the ball all over the yard, just padding the stats. And you start mentioning guys like Jones, and you start mentioning guys like Baker Mayfield, that's Sooner pristine legacy there. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked in what this defense is trying to do. And after the extra point, they're on top by 12. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back, looking for help. And the returner will be brought down. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get that ladder up and get a little bit more of a win. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. With the catch, it's Adams. Stopped after making the catch. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And as a defense, that's why you want to avoid third and short moving forward. It's really hard to defend that slant. That's a bang-bang play. The offense knows they can execute in their sleep. Defense will have to do better early in the drive moving forward. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Tackled after picking up the first down. Temple lines up quickly. Quick release on the RPO. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Now on second down after the good first down run. Reads it, fires complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And the Owls come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Running back searching for a hole. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Fighting off the defender. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. Temple lining up and punt it away. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. Now, how about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, First find some foul, space foul. to go to work? The kicker. Kicker. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Going to the running game. Got the first down and more. Touchdown, Owls! And they take it in for six more points. 
And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. On to attempt the try. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. North Carolina went on the road and just dominated. And that's one way to grab attention on a national level. Make a statement in someone else's building and prove you're legit. And did the Tar Heels ever do that? Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Power football with the run. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. Oh, the ball's out! Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Oh, and it's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stadium, change the momentum, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Might as well stick with him. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Temple lines up quickly. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. It's caught downfield. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. Love the accurate throw by the quarterback there. Pull route against man coverage. you got to put that right into the body of the wide receiver who's running back to work. Throws toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Now on second down after the incompletion. You see it in football all the time, right? I get a matchup on the outside. You want to try to play man coverage? I'm going to let my wide receiver try to go up and make a play. A lot of times the wide receiver wins. Not this time. This receiver is such a weapon. He has so much speed. He can generate explosive plays for your offense, not just running go routes and post routes, but how about throwing him the drag, letting him catch it, and use his speed to turn it upfield. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good, and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Looking to throw, it's Simon. Coming after it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. This kicker's leg is getting a workout. He's already made three field goals, and here he comes again. Going right down the boulevard. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. 
They coughed it up on that last drive, but the defense really bailed them out, holding him to a field goal, Jesse. Yeah, and I think the offense kind of got away from their identity a little bit on that last drive, David. They got to kind of get back to doing what they do. Yeah, and, and hold on to the football. I mean, defense just did their job. Stopped them, held them to a field goal, limited the damage. Now it's time for the offense to get the momentum going. Got a lot of running room. He's at the 10. And he just kept running in This guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous. If he gets into the second level, great vision, and then to hit it shows you the speed. Just straight wheels, erasing angles. A lot of times when you're chasing guys that are so fast like this, you're like, I got him, I got him. No, I do not. What a big, long touchdown run. Had those stats, young fella. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Only took two plays to find the end zone on that drive and gashing them on the touchdown run finished it off. Fielded in the end zone. It's Collins. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The handoff as they run the counter play here. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. Temple lines up quickly. Looking to pass, it's Simon. Fires to the big fella. That's a really good tackle there, giving up some size and still making the play. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stops. The Owls come to the line with a new set of downs. The give is to Smith. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free, and fourth down is coming up. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. The give to the tailback. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? Leaves it with the back. Finds that crease, and he's got four after the 29. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. It is plays like that that'll let you pile up some serious passing yards. Yeah, what an effort. I, I mean, the layout to be able to catch the football, keep it off the ground. Nice job by this receiver. And that's why this quarterback's had a day. Guys making plays all over the field. Now on second down. Using the quick game. Gets enough for the first down, but not sure they'll get another playoff here in the third quarter. We reach the quarter break with Oklahoma on top. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. They'll give it to the back. Got the first down. Looking for more. And he's brought down after a nice game. Now on the move at the 28-yard line on first down. 
everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They got a really nice lead, so you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here lately. And the pass is incomplete, charged loose by the hit. Third and short from the 22. Is the field goal unit getting ready, or is this already four down territory? This time it's complete. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets it up on the catch for the first down. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They move the tight end all over. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Baird is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple of down at the 11. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. To the air, it's Arnold. Couldn't find anybody open, just threw it away, and that's a smart move. You want to avoid the turnover, especially in the red zone. It'll be fourth down. Really nice third down sub defense there that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. They're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap. Confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion, setting up for it. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put the to leather. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner is stopped. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Ran right through the defender, and now he's still running. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There is nothing more demoralizing than a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run. Not Fires into traffic, picked off. Looking for more room. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. And that just might do it. Man, offense needed points. Needed points badly. Defense comes up with a big interception. Takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. They'll try to add another to their lead. And no problem on the extra point as they push the lead to 19 here in the fourth. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Duke is ahead in this one, but unlike the days of Daniel Jones, this offense is not guaranteed to just keep scoring points today. They're up by 11 over the astronauts. We'll circle back if anything big happens. You should know. Thanks for the update on that one, Kevin. Let us know when it goes final. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to pass, it's Simon. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And the sack comes from the middle linebacker, who is the quarterback of the defense. Not only does he get everybody lined up, make all the calls, play the run, he can also rush the passer and sack quarterbacks. What a job. Temple lining up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. 
This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Looking for space. It's Ocho. And a good solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes for the sack. Well, the problem with the play-action game is that it forces the QB to hold on to the ball just a little bit longer to allow some of these plays to develop. And, of course, that gives this defense longer to get after him. Third down following the sack by the D. He'll do it himself. Tough sliding in there. Picks up a couple, but still needs two more on fourth down. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. I just tied in. A quick tackle made, but he's got ready for the first down. The Sooners come to the line with a fresh set of downs. A little misdirection and the handoff on the counter. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. He'll put the tight end in motion. They'll run play action. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. You know what's interesting? At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is... Touchdown sooner! And the route is on. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Temple takes over and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. Got it in the middle, it's right. They make the stop, not a whole lot of ground picked up there, and they'll have work to do to get the first down. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Off play action. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Temple lining up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. They make the stop, but there is a penalty marker down. Let's see what the call is. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the Ruffing kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Scanning the field is Simon. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's looking for a man on second down. Didn't have much of a choice there, but to get rid of it. A third and long coming up here. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has... And it's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been on par. No room to return, but no problem after making a play like that, and they'll have it at the 25. 
this is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two plus scores and you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. Great job playing pass, forcing the interception, almost putting the nail in the coffin. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. He's looking to throw. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And the beatdown has ensued. Well, I think this home environment was just too much for their opponents to handle. There's been unbelievable noise and energy. The crowd showed up today, but how about the playmaking on the field? These guys have got dudes all over the field, and this kind of win week one sends a statement and reverberates all across college football. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field and score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more. You should have ran a better round. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Quickly out to the tight end. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. They'll put it in play from the 36 for the first play of the drive. Leaves it with the running back. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. From the gun, the running back has it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. The Sooners will have it first and ten. The old coaching cliche go 1-0 every week, and for the first week, they get it done. Yeah, great start to the season. That's what you want. You want to come out, find a way to win. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. You're going to find things to work on throughout the season, but 1-0, that's where you wanted to be. And I think if you're the coaching staff of this winning team, you've got to like what you've just seen. First game of the year, there was tremendous effort on the field. Guys flying around, flying to the football, trying to make the plays necessary to win this game. They definitely made a few mistakes, but that's what practice is for. But if you're the coaching staff, I think you're very, very positive right now moving forward. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.